tight end here in a long time. What has he done for himself? What do they say, Dan? Uh, was, it, was it rat poison? Is that what Coach Saban calls that? Um, so we, we really do have our blinders on. Uh, and I think it, it starts with Cade. He's, he'll, he'll be the first one to be like, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want it. And he and I always tease each other about it because we, we hate the, 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 like the pats on the back. And so when patting you on your back, usually um, you want to stay far away from those people. Uh, with that said, uh, I don't want to get back to Cade, but I am super proud of how, how he's prepared, right? Uh, Dan, you talk about up to, up to this point in the season. I go back to the off season and the spring ball and summer and all the work you put in. Um, I'm happy that it's showing up on Saturdays, that you get to see kind of the dedication he put into his craft. Um, so the stats will take care of themselves, um, but we're gonna keep working and see where we're at at the end of the year, hopefully as a team, hitting all our goals. How much do you think that mentality contributes to success? Just, just the, self, the that, selflessness? That blinders on mentality. <laughs> yeah, I think it goes hand in hand, right? I mean, uh, we're so process driven. Uh, people like to talk about PFF grades and receptions and targets. We'll talk about hours uh, working when everyone else is sleeping, uh, cut-ups, you know, uh, when the opponent might be doing something else. Um, so, yeah, I think those go hand-in-hand. Hand. There's a direct correlation. Cade was mentioning that uh, Coach Jenkins has had a big role on him and has helped him as a better player. How has he seen that relationship help Cade? Yeah, so uh, Sean, Coach Binks, uh, he's, he, I mean, he's the next big uh, young coach out of Ohio State. Um, and I take a lot of pride in that, obviously having following that pass as a, path as a uh, support staff member. Him and Mike Seleni are just rock stars. Um, but Sean and Cade's relationship is awesome because uh, they're both kind of feisty by nature. Uh, so they're always, it feels like, button heads. They're like two old ladies barking at each other sometimes. But uh, I think they bring out the best in each other. And Sean's been a huge help to me. Yeah, I mean, that's a phenomenal question. You know, traditionally speaking, when uh, teams trot out two tight ends, everyone in the stadium's thinking run, right? Everyone's thinking run. When, when, when you got two athletic guys like we have, uh, we can play 10 personnel, meaning no tight ends on the field, those kind of traditional sets throwing the ball with two tight ends. So now, as a defensive coordinator, I see, you know, Stover and uh, G, Stott, G, excuse me, G. Scott come running out. It's like, do I defend that with an extra linebacker? Um, if so, then you better be able to cover us. Um, you put an extra safety in, uh, you better buckle up your chin strap because we're going to block you. So that's kind of the, uh, the uh, two, two, two sides to a 12 personnel there. Well, I think both, and uh, credit to those guys. You know, Coach Day uh, said at the beginning of the season, this offense is, is trending towards having versatility. Uh, to your point, I think we played, what, like 60%, 12 personnel, not counting third downs in red zone, uh, but based down a distance. And it's just credit to our guys. I'm looking to bring in the best tight ends in the country that are receivers and blockers and all-around guys. Um, and hopefully with this offense, an NFL offense, you come here, you're going to be uh, in the perfect position to contribute. No, no, yeah. I mean, I think if you ask him, I think he would consider himself a tight end when he plays that 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 you know fullback role. Uh, we were joking. We got to get him one of our tight end sweaters just for those packages. Uh, but Caden's phenomenal. I think it starts with you know obviously defense, but turn on his clips at uh, special teams, um, and and you kind of see that motor and that versatility. Hey, Caden, uh, when you go in down at the goal line, are you a tight end? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you just got you just got your answer. Can he catch? Can he catch? That's a uh, to be to be determined. There you go. There you go. There you go. To be determined. What else you guys got? Yeah, Joe's doing well. Uh, you think you know all of the guys, not just Joe, but all of our guys. Every day, you know, we're fighting to be the best version of ourselves, and uh, Joe's been doing that, and uh, he'll keep coming along. Yeah, no, I think he's been really good. Uh, G has one of the best uh, first two steps of anyone that I've seen. And again, I credit it. We got a lot of guys here that could help out as far as uh, like a coaching staff and support staff and a lot of expertise. Uh, one guy in particular, Coach Philbin, like Joe Philbin. Again, guys, he was an offensive coordinator in the Super Bowl. He was a head coach in the NFL. And uh, he's come in and been a huge resource to me, huge resource to me. Um, and to Kate and to G, 
Like I challenge them, how stubborn are you if we have Joe Philbin down the hall and you're not pounding on his on his door, hey, help me with my run blocking fundamentals, help me with, um, and I know there's rules of things he can do and can't do, but he, he's definitely a great resource for our players and for me, definitely to your point, to G's blocking. Thank you. Of course, thank you guys. Thanks, Dana. We'll bring in G Scott right here. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yep.